Hello guys, you're joining me today from the Norwegian wilderness. Um, myself, Brian and Matt are out here for a week at the moment uh, doing a lot of hiking around the fjords and all the forest areas. It's really beautiful out here. Um, so I just thought I'd do a little video today sort of following us around um, showing us, showing you what it's like on our average day out here at the moment. Um, roughly covering about 10 miles a day um, just depending on the terrain that we're going across uh, a lot of lake systems and dense forests as you can see behind me Brian's doing daily vlogs um, so he's going to record a lot more detail um, so you'll be able to check that out but I just wanted to do a little video for today sort of going around and showing you uh, how beautiful it is out here so stay tuned I was just saying how diverse all these forests are because um, when we came out we were expecting it to just be pine but tree wise there's a lot of there's pine and spruce obviously but there's loads of mountain ash uh, birch and quite a few others so there's a good diversity all over the forest really especially with wild food um, obviously we're unfamiliar with all the edible plants out here apart from the raspberries like strawberries and um, lingon berries but we think you know, if you had a good knowledge of this sort of terrain, then there's got to be a lot of wild food about. So it would be good to do like a base camp scenario out here and build a nice shelter and stay out here in a few spots for a week or two. It'd probably be uh, quite easy to live out here for a while sustainably. What do you reckon, Brian? If we got good at fishing, I reckon we'll be winning. I mean, for days. these lakes are just teeming with fish, right? they're just constantly jumping out. So if you've got pretty well practiced in, if in fishing, you'd be pretty sustainable. The forest haven't really got much in terms of game. Well, I haven't seen, I saw some... Um, it's pretty sparse. I saw some like... Oh, God. Well, there might, there might be a lot. shells that had been ripped up. Yeah. So probably I by I think there squirrels. are squirrels and stuff, but... It's that big. The forests are so vast, you just don't see them. Okay guys, so we're just hiking in the middle of a trail here. Uh, it's quite a long one, so we're sort of quite way out in the sticks, and we've just come across this um, cabin. Hello. Hello. Hey up. So we just decided to stop here for lunch. Um, but yeah, it's pretty scary. <laughs> you can hear them buzzing, yeah. But yeah, all the doors are padlocked on, and there's a pretty big beehive, a wasp hive in there, I think. Keep on seeing wasps coming in and out of the keel. Just walking down this track and there was just three deer in the middle of the road about 50 metres down. But they, we spooked them and um, didn't get the camera out in time. Hopefully we might see some again. Here's a few fresh tracks from the deer that we just came across. Some some fresh
Okay guys, so we're just sat around the fire now, um, settling in for the night. So I'm probably going to leave the video here. Uh, it's been a really good day today, I've seen lots of things. It was quite cool seeing the deer earlier on and we've struck gold with this campsite really, so it's been a good one. Um, I've only got one more full day tomorrow, so if you want to see the rest of the days, obviously go and see Brian's channel, he's going to have the uh, daily vlogs up, so he's got it all in a lot more detail, but I hope you've all enjoyed this um, short video just documenting today, and um, I'll catch you guys very soon, cheers.